are the best, most overpowered and meta central midfielders you can sign up in the FIFA 21's Ultimate Team Mode. I'm your boy Viva La FIFA and I will tell you everything about it. Awesome that you're watching to episode 4, I already made the goalkeepers, center backs and the full backs and after this you can also watch the wingers and the strikers to become a football mastermind in FIFA 21's Ultimate Team. In this video I've selected all the beastly players from cheap to icon card and every price range between there. So it's up to you to pick the player matching your league, your budget and that's that. You're sure you have an overpowered meta player added to your team. So if you love the video, smash a thumbs up would mean the world to me. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that before and put on the notification bell to join the amazing team Viva La FIFA. Starting off with one of my personal favorites and that is Moussa Sissako. The center midfielder of Tottenham Hotspur is available for around 20,000 coins and that might be a big, big transfer fee you spend on him. But remember, if you play division rivals and qualify for that, you get a lot of coins already so if you have a bigger budget not a huge budget but you have 20 plus k to spend and you're using a french team or a premier league side sisoko is the man to go for he is strong he is quick and he is super good defensively if you are on a lower budget french is the opportunity to sign up instead of sisoko the same skills but french is better in front of goal it sounds a little bit crazy because sisoko is a center midfielder and french is a cdm but that's the story the good thing is you can sign up Fred for 10k at the moment he dropped gigantically in price and that means for 10k and maybe 30k in total are your players also for the smallest budgets we have something Thomas Delaney of Borussia Dortmund is a player like that he will have fantastic links with a lot of players in the Bundesliga that we can call overpowered and sweaty and the good thing is Delaney is a very complete midfielder and the most positive thing is he's available for 1.2k unbelievable cheap and you can link him out with Leimer you don't need to spend over 15 to 1600 coins for the combination Delaney and Leimer and yes they can play in higher divisions because they're so overpowered the rating and the price you pay for them you can laugh about that the only thing that makes them so cheap is their actual low basic rating but also not to forget about well there are so many cards of them on the market and that makes those players super wanted and super cheap when FIFA 21 hits the shelves, Loronte was valued at 40,000 coins, but he dropped huge in price. For myself, I bought him for 25k and I'm losing 20,000 coins. But if you're starting to build your new team or just got FIFA for, well, maybe your birthday, Loronte is a player you should always go for because he is the perfect center midfielder. He has all the abilities you need and he can even score a goal for your squad with 74 shooting. So Loronte, the perfect box to box midfielder for 4,000 coins. Talking about overpowered meta players, Quincy Promes is 82 rated but he feels like the Dutch Neymar Jr. He is super agile, super quick, amazing dribbling, 5 star skill moves, what else do you need? Well, a team you can link him up in, maybe he can be great in a team with for example Genie Wijnaldum and Frankie de Jong. Another overpowered CDM coming from the Bundesliga, it is unreal how many players they have in that Bundesliga squad you can get for such a cheap price. Zakaria is 83 speed in combination with 81 defending, 85 physicality, what else do you want? A cheap price, well here it is, 4000 coins for one of the best CDMs in the game. Looking for a box to box box midfielder from the Brazilian league or just for your Brazilian squad to link up with Neymar Jr. Paulinho is the man to go for. I dare you, if he played in the Premier League, he would have been 40, 50, 60, 70k just like Alan or even more expensive because he is actually the better version of Alan but because he plays in the Chinese Super League, you can get him for 1000 coins. So no need to spend money on a football game, just build yourself the best possible cheap squad. Renato Sanchez is out of this universe a super sweaty overpowered card that feels like a root gullet baby card but then four times as cheap and that means Renato Sanchez is on the wish list of a lot of you people but this is only for the bigger budget if you compare him with Paulinho you can say Renato Sanchez is quicker but he's also worth 120 times as much so is he worth it yes if you have the coins or else go for a cheaper player I show you in the video I use Leon Goretzka in my hybrids all the time to link him up with Alfonso Davy 
David Alaba, Leo Rossani, and you can also link him up with a striker from the Bundesliga as well if you prefer that. So Goretzka is a perfect player to link and combine with good players. And don't forget, the man is almost a root gullet gang member. All the stats are higher than 80 or almost 80. So for 20k, you can't go wrong. Compare the stats of Alan with Polinho, as I told you, and you will see Polinho is actually the better player. But Alan is Brazilian, has a lot of amazing chemistry links with players to build up hybrids, and that makes Alan 40,000 coins and Polinho 1,000 coins. That's the difference. I know a lot of you people love the Premier League and to build a team around them. I have Alan as well. I never regret it. But as I told you, no need to spend a lot of coins. If you're listening to my videos, you can build yourself an overpowered sweaty team for less than 25k in total. Fede Volvure is another player that dropped gigantic in price. Just like Loronte when the game just came out, he was super overhyped and also overpriced. He is now going down to 25 to 30,000 coins. Well, that is fair. What makes him, well, less good is, well, his shooting. It's not the best if you're playing in the higher division, etc. So he is a decent player. Don't get me wrong. Valverde alongside Loronte for 32k. You have two amazing central mids from the La Liga. We are going to a higher price category with Kai Havertz. 60,000 coins. If you're looking for the cheaper version of Havertz, you can go for Hakim Ziyech. But I didn't put Ziyech in the episode because, well, here's a shout out for him. He is around 15 to 20k. So much, much, much cheaper than Kai Havertz. Why? Because Kai Havertz is more agile. He is quicker. He is stronger. He is taller. And he is also, well, just he feels better in the game than Hakim Ziyech. And that makes the price difference. I fell in love with the Genie Wijnaldum car for several reasons. I will tell you why. Well, I love to link him up with Genie Wijnaldum, center midfielder, Memphis Depay as a striker. And then on the left midfield or camp position, if you're playing in a 4 2 2 formation, Quincy Promes. So then you have a Tridente, Depay, Wijnaldum, Promise. Amazing skill for players, always good to use. The Poi is super cheap, Quincy is super cheap, and for Gini, you pay a lot of money, but you can build yourself an amazing looking hybrid. Rules are there to be broken. Give a thumbs up if you love the video, by the way. We have Rule Breaker Laurent. I think this is a magnificent ID by EA, so a big compliment. Sometimes we bash on them, the servers aren't the best, but this ID of the Rule Breaker, it changes everything in the game. Laurent is already great with a normal card but this man is so complete well you can choose between him and root gullet baby if you want to link up frankie the young instead of genie wijnaldum or even build your dutch team longer and more players in that squad with quincy promes memphis the pod genie wijnaldum also frankie the young can be a player you would love to use use maybe uh, Matthijs the Ligt on the center back position and we have to look for a left back who do we have there well maybe a player like uh, hops or feyenoord and then you can have with yourself a nice team down the left hand side with the dutch nationality Frankie de Young has it all, and he is just a better version of Fede Valverde. Call the Beast Spock by United fans, give a thumbs up for your amazing center midfielder in the game because in real life Paul Pogba is not reaching the level everybody is expecting. With a downgrade from 88 to 86 he got hit quite hard but he is still such a meta player it is unbelievable. I faced Paul Pogba several times. You can't get him off the ball. His speed dribbling and also technical dribbling ball control is from the highest order and when I'm playing him I know a tough time is coming up. His speed can be fixed well with a uh, shadow card or something else if you like to do that but Pogba as a player is just unbelievable good. Where is the party? At Jamie Vardy's house? No, with Thomas party this time. Thomas Vardy, one, two, watch. I could also select it, the normal card of Thomas party for the La Liga or for the Premier League, but I'm going for the one to watch card. 185k, it is a lot of money, and I'm not quite sure if you should spend that on this man or just go for his normal informed card that is available for around 90k, 80k, so because well, why I'm telling that, with one inform card upgrade, it goes to 87. It isn't a very spectacular upgrade, so the one to watch party looks astonishing. But my tip would be, go for the inform card at the moment. Viva, why do you put Joshua Kimi in an overpowered meta episode? Because he is 88 rated. Does he feel like an 88 rated card? Well, boys and girls, I will tell you why. Because of his price range, he is available for 30k. And for 30k, you get one of the best 
tackling, positioning players on that CDM spot, plus his passing in the build-up play and putting through balls and high through balls to the strikers and the wingers is from the highest level possible. And you can get it for 30,000 coins and that makes him so special to use him in your squad. I combine him with Leon Goretzka, so you have it all. The power, the passing and the defending. So that's why Josh Kimmich deserves a spot. You can put in every legend card you want, but Angolo Kante is still on the top of the mountain if you're talking about overpowered sweaty players. Angolo Kante is 88 rated. He is not cheap at all, but trust me boys and girls, if you have Angolo Kante, he can compete with the best icon cards in the game. And that is something I'm calling overpowered because what is overpowered if you're much better than your actual rating or price like Joshua Kimmich. Me. And that is what's going on with Angolo Kante. He feels like a 94 rated CDM car. For example, you have Mikael Assier, but I'm not quite sure if I would spend twice, maybe triple as much with Assier instead of Angolo Kante. Yes, he is a legend card. Yes, he is a fabulous player. Yes, he had a hit story with Chelsea, Real Madrid and other big teams. But as I told you, almost triple the price of Angolo Kante and if I was you I would go for Angolo Kante any day of the week but Asien is still a fabulous and very complete midfielder. Then we're turning to the last page and if you can spend so much money you're great in the division rivals and weekend league and we're lucky with your pack openings you either spent FUD coins and you bought that on a website or you just packed an icon card at the start of the game and you are one lucky bastard. One of those things should have happened to spend almost two million pounds plus. Lothar Mateus, just take a minute guys and look at his stats. He can play on every single position, even on the left wing position he could have been one of the best in the game. He is one of the most used players by the pro players in the world. Ronaldinho is more a fun player. Defensively, physicality, he's not really good enough to play with the highest divisions. If you're talking about a really World Cup for champions, you don't see Ronaldinho often on the pitch because, well, as I told you, defensively he is not the most likely player. But I love him so much, he is 2.8. 8 million pounds, but if you want a freestyler, he is the king of the freestyle. And then Ruth Gullet, he is a player every pro player wants to get in their squad. This is the 90 rated Gullet Gang card. You also have the 86 rated baby version that is also pretty overpowered, but with the 88 speed, 88 shooting, 87 physicality, well, he is the leader of the Ruth Gullet Gang, and that is because he is just the best and most complete midfielder in the history of the FIFA game. So guys, if you love it, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for more and put on the notification bell. Do those three things to become a member of the FIFA family. And boys and girls, watch the other videos about the goalkeepers, fullbacks, wingers, strikers, etc. to become a mastermind about FIFA. I thank you for watching and I hope to see you back with a brand new video. Baby, we'll fall.